was looking in the end. Okay. Um, I promise you, I'm a really good driver. I'm just hiding. Hi guys, this is Matty Ace. And uh, yes, have you been hyped over some new game releases the last uh, couple of, uh, well, I, I was about to say months, but I guess the last couple of years actually based on uh, this video's topic. If you have been hyped enough to the point where you actually participate in discussions in said game, whether on Reddit, uh, the official forum, or maybe a YouTube channel or some such, well, if you have, then you have most likely come across what the title of this video says. And that is, do not pre-order. Something that has been repeated so many times and with such intensity that it's more or less turned into a meme. Um, even though memes normally are focused on something far more positive. Because this is an expression of disappointment, anger and resentment. So now, as much as it's kind of self-explanatory where and why this comes from, it's also quite contradictory, because if you are engaged enough or interested enough in a upcoming game title to the point where you actually do engage in uh, the discussions about it, well, in that case, you most likely want the game to be successful. You want as many people as possible to know about it and to play it, and obviously, if uh, more people buy the game, then there's going to be more money for the company to hire more developers. Hence, more content, more updates, more bug fixes and optimizations, or so we hope. The problem is that there are so many gamers that have done just that. Been pre-ordering a game only to be very, very disappointed once the game is actually released. So yeah, obviously with the latest announcements from DICE and EA about the upcoming Battlefield, these discussions were stirred up once again. And I'm not so sure about other games and franchises, but with the enormous success that Battlefield 1 had, followed by two far less popular games. This saying, never pre-order or different versions of it, is being thrown around a lot in the Battlefield community, at least in the Battlefield 1 community. So now, me, for one, I'll say this just to be perfectly clear. As a content creator, as a YouTuber streamer, I will pre-order the next Battlefield, regardless of whether or not I believe in it. I feel like it's one of the very few obligations you have as a content creator to the community that's been, you know, following me, supporting me throughout all this time. The ones of you who want to know ahead of time what to expect from a new Battlefield, I will give you my honest opinion. I will try as many playstyles as possible, as many weapons and vehicles as possible, and I will try to answer all the kind of questions that you have to the best of my ability, of course. I will point out the good and the bad, bugs like this when this guy couldn't vault over the wall there, for example, and hopefully my experience in the early part of the game, the beta or maybe even alpha, is going to make you decide whether or not the next battlefield is something for you. So now, I'll be perfectly honest. I believe that the expectations for the next Battlefield is a lot higher among those people that still play Battlefield 5 and Battlefield 2042 than it is among the Battlefield 1 community. Now, according to Vince Sampella, as I mentioned in one of my previous videos, he and uh, maybe EA, maybe DICE considers Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4 to be the peak of the Battlefield franchise. I think that uh, Battlefield 1 players strongly disagrees with that and uh, well the sales of Battlefield 1 speaks for itself. And uh, as much as Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4 being very very similar to one another, Battlefield 3 was actually the highest selling of the two copies which is to some degree quite interesting or maybe a little bit concerning because with Battlefield 3 being such a huge success at, for its time, 17 million copies sold. The fact that Battlefield 4 couldn't live up to its previous success, despite its similarities, and the next game after Battlefield 4, which is very different from these two games, sells 8 million copies more than Battlefield 3, well, that does give us a hint of what the majority of the Battlefield community actually really wants. And keep in mind, Battlefield 1 is far from flawless. There are bugs that we would have hoped should have been fixed about seven years ago that are still in the game, still bothering us, 
And keep in mind, Battlefield 1 still, at the time of making this video, does not have an anti-cheat. So whatever numbers that you see on Steam for, uh, you know, how many people are actually active, you know, daily active or monthly active, they are highly misleading. Not only would Battlefield 1 have a lot more players if we did have a functioning anti-cheat, and as I'm sure you all know already, Battlefield 1 did not have much of its sales on Steam, unlike Battlefield 5 and Battlefield 2042. And yes, when it comes to feedback, here is something that I've said many, many times. I would like to see kit switching come back to its original form. Oh shit, that's my own traps there. <laughs> those traps, yeah, those traps, guys. I set them up before. So, I think I know what the majority of you guys are going to say, but I'll ask it anyway. What are your thoughts? Do you have plans on pre-ordering the next battlefield? Whatever the answer, yes or no, please elaborate on why. What do you expect of the next battlefield? What has been your biggest disappointment when it comes to pre-ordering and uh, why would you hesitate to do it this time? I would love to see my community transition to a new title in the Battlefield franchise. Um, I thought that would happen with both Battlefield 5 and Battlefield 2042. Didn't really happen, but uh, I guess we shouldn't give up hope. So there will be a few more minutes of Battlefield 1 content for you here. I hope you will enjoy it. I hope I'll see you in the next live stream on my main channel. And please share your thoughts and let's keep the discussion going. Thank you for watching. Return to the combat. Area. <laughs> couple of trucks got wrecked. Especially when there is a tank there that can shoot me down. That makes it harder. Sasha! Up for a pair interrupted on him. Had to save our horse. That guy right there, he's. And now I'm flying over oh, AA again. Oh, I hit him. Disable. And I got a mine kill also. Uh, oh, nice. Alright, yeah, nice. he either jumped out or something. Um, yeah. Well, 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 well. well. That was nice, though. Where's the AA? It's back here somewhere, right? Yeah, it's right there. It's right where you shot at. You, you need to learn how to maneuver the... He's behind. I hit him. I'm looking right at an enemy soldier. We have lost objective butter. Oh. 
Oh. We're seeing them. You could shoot for two reasons. <laughs> Stream sniping or uh yardum chances. Yeah. Or you know, in, in many of these cases both. <laughs> <laughs> True. Holy shit, this team is awful. Aha, he's a he something. I mean, imagine me as a bad that you spend money to. Sana bir sana yardım çantası. Sana yardım çantası. Şu yardım çantasını al. yardım çantası. 